here's a quick orientation regarding orientation lines in material stage. So when making any room in stage, make sure to draw an orientation line on your reference panorama. That's this panorama with the little R on it. Make sure you have this selected. Then click on Panorama Tool here and check Show Alignment Tools. And this red line is going to appear on your screen. Now all you have to do is match this red line, which we call orientation line, with the base of a wall in your room. So for example, like this one. Um, or you could also put it over here, if you like. Let's just move that. Or you could put it here too, or wherever. But if you can't see any wall bases, like maybe you only have a view like this, where it's obscured by furniture, so what you can do instead is draw your orientation line over here. Basically, any horizontal line in your room. Although, ideally, again, you should use a wall base or maybe floor tiles, but this could work if there's no other option too. And that's it. I'm done with the orientation line. Unlike level lines, I don't have to draw another one for each panorama. Just as long as I have one in my reference panorama, that's good. And now I can move on to drawing my floor and then after that my volumes and so on and so on. So it's a really quick step, right? But it's a really important step if you want to draw your rooms quickly. Let me explain why. So let's first activate the grid under visual guides. And now this checkered grid is visible on our screen. And as you can see, the lines on the grid here are square with our floor lines. Wait, let me just move this orientation line over here so you can see the effect. See, it suddenly shifted according to what the orientation line says. And again, this matches with that perfectly. These lines are parallel to this wall base over here and these lines are parallel to this edge in here and this is really going to be useful when we start drawing our floor. So right now let's start drawing our floor so we can add our first floor point over here and now when I put in my second floor point I could try doing it manually like this but it's, I'm not really sure if it's straight. Like this looks a lot like this, but they're different points. So what I can do to take all the guesswork out of it is to activate the protractor. In this case, I'll activate protractor 1. It's going to start snapping. And then now, when I try to add my second floor point, I know that this is going to be straight. From here... And I'll just match it with the corner over there. And just like that, I can keep drawing my floor. And if I have a hidden corner like this over here, I, I can't really see um, where the floor meets the wall. I could try guessing it like this. Or I could put my next point over here first. Wait, let's deactivate the protractor by pressing 1. And okay, so I can just add the next one here. And then I can add a middle point over here and activating protractor 1 by pressing one key and protractor 2 by pressing the second key. I can just add the next floor point at wherever the intersection between these two protractors are. So now I know that this line is perfectly straight and this line is perfectly straight. And I can just keep adding the rest of my floor points. Like so. And here you can again just have it intersect like this. And that's our floor build. So I'll just bring up the ceiling height like this. And that's this relatively complicated floor done in a matter of seconds. Now, what if I didn't have my orientation line placed properly? So here's a fresh copy of our room. As you can see, the orientation line is in parallel with any of the wall bases. And if we activate the grid, it doesn't match with any of our floor lines at all. So now when it's time to draw my floor, if I put my first 
floor point here i can't use the protractor anymore because if i activate it it's just going to follow wherever the grid is which isn't actually where my floor is so now i can just extend it and click and extend and click i have to manually put everything in and guess where everything is so i'll put that there and maybe this one over here see and now i can even use the trick i showed earlier where i put here first and then activate the protractor now i have to guess this one too and maybe it's about here um then next floor point over here then over here uh like that now let's compare the two rooms we made so this is the proper salon and the wrong salon and i've added a door to link the two together so they're easier to compare and as you can see the proper salon it looks very straight like it looks very professional but the wrong salon it looks slightly weird like this isn't perfectly square right and if measurements are really important for you then you can't rely on this one but you can rely on this one and imagine if all your rooms look like this it's going to be really hard to make everything connect together like maybe like imagine if you had another room here and it went slightly like this so it's going to intersect it's going to look very unprofessional and even in model view you'll notice that there's also a difference in terms of quality so this one is straight like this um everything looks good but this one if you zoom in you'll notice that it's a bit slanted so if you want to avoid all this you want to keep your floor plans and models as high quality as possible just make sure you have your orientation line placed correctly like this and your whole reconstruction process should work much more smoothly and that's it that's all you need to know about adding orientation lines in material stage if you found this video helpful make sure to hit like and comment down below that really helps us know if these videos are helping our users and that's it for now happy tour building